Alex Jones never harassed families. That sets the precedent that if you question the government, you can pay damages for causing distress. It's going to be used against leftist movements to bleed us dry. But yeah, let's celebrate the KKK kangaroo courts of America silence dissent because it's a clownish man. Okay, you're dead wrong. He defamed the parents by saying that they were crisis actors, dude. You can't commit defamation. I'm sorry that you like lying about people and insulting them, but you, you can't do that. Private victims of having their six-year-old shot to shreds by an AR-15 because you're opposed to any kind of uh, gun regulations. So you, because your mind can't take the cognitive dissidence that this is the result of your idiotic fucking policies, you lie and send legions of fucking ruling fascist goons at parents that did literally nothing. They weren't public figures. They didn't ask to be made famous. They weren't commenting on, on these issues. Until their children were ripped apart by semi-automatic rifle fire in kindergarten. You don't get to say they're liars and, and fucking uh, crisis actors and that their children didn't exist. Sorry, not sorry, dipshit. That's not... And if I ever say something like that, then I should be sued for defamation too. So if there's an event involving private citizens and you decide to question the event, you should pay millions. Questioning is different than saying... That they were crisis actors, which is exactly what he did. Committed defamation. It's just as simple as that. He also published people committing defamation on his show. Also, you are, you are in a dipshit. You have this brown-red alliance mentality. You think that anti-establishment is a thing. It's not. There is only two divisions in, in the world of politics. Right and left. I know a lot of people are paid big money so that you do not accept this fundamental reality, but it's two sides. It's a class conflict. You have the proletariat and you have the bourgeoisie. The proletariat are going to be under attack whenever they try to resist the power of the bourgeois. That's it. And if you think that, oh, well, if we let these right-wing fascists get off for committing horrible fucking crimes, then they're going to do, do it for us. You're a fucking idiot. There's an anarchist in prison right now for social media posts. Not sued, in prison. Not threats against individuals. Just saying we should be ready to militarily resist fascists in America. He got put in prison for years. There is no two... They're not going to give you the benefit of the doubt if Alex Jones get bankrupt. If you were a leftist, which you're not... You would understand that they're your fucking mortal enemy and they're trying to kill you. If people like Alex Jones get into power, they will kill your ass. This is not a hypothetical. This is not a what if. This is not a fear. This is fucking reality because it happens and has happened literally hundreds of times since the 20th century. So get with it or get the hell out of the fucking way. Yeah, bro. Alex Jones is going to gun me down. Are you fucking stupid? I mean, like, do you not know? Like, you laugh at the, the idea that Alex Jones is literally going to run, gun you down is not what I'm saying. I'm saying the movement that Alex Jones supports, fascism, will, if it gets control of state power, fucking kill you. My evidence is about 20 different examples off the top of my head. Would you like to go through them? Japan, Taiwan, South Korea, Indonesia, Brazil, Argentina, Peru. Uh, let's see, Guatemala, Nicaragua. Do I have to continue? Because I can. Italy, Greece, you fucking dummy. Just because you're white, just because you live in a wealthy country, if fascists win, and obviously Germany. We, are, we all know Germany and Italy. Jesus Christ. Oh, but Mike, uh, if Alex Jones can't lie about the, 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 the Tr Sandy Hook children, then they're going to do stuff to you. If they do it to me all the, way, all the time. And where were the right-wingers? I got banned for 14 days for talking about scabulists. Where were the right-wingers? Where was the think pieces? Oh, Mike from PA is being silenced for doing labor organizing education. Where, were, where was all the fucking screaming at the top of their lungs how I'm being silenced and, and, and censored? No one fucking cared. You have zero fucking knowledge of how the world works. You see, the thing is, you, you imagine there's some sort of grand fucking like principle that these people are operating on. They don't. The fascists that Alex Jones support are literally banning books right now that mention LGBT stuff from libraries. They're literally banning normal sex education in schools.
fucking dummy. And yeah, legitimate questioning based on facts, that's called truth. That's never going to be, that. at least, I, I would not support that being fucking sanctioned. That's not what he was doing. And if you think that's what he was doing, you're a fucking dope. But Mike, don't you against violence? Don't you hate soldiers? You shouldn't support the Red Army when they're fighting Nazi Germany because if you support that army, then it means you're going to be supporting armies that oppress you. No, it doesn't. I can do what's known as differentiation and distinction. Army of liberation, good. Army of oppression, bad. Congratulations, I have a functioning human brain. Only online are people incapable of making ad hoc distinctions based on the conditions. And they think it's some sort of like sign of their intelligence and not their profound... I'm not trying to be ableist here, but there's a certain type of brain that is not wired to like operate in the real world and has to function according to a rigid set of rules and they think that that's how other people operate. That's not. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Obviously, dumb idiot fuck faces are always going to tell you to defend Alex Jones or Glenn Greenwald or any of these other right-wing ghouls, and they will never defend you. People don't believe in free speech absolutism because it's a horrific idea. It's a terrible idea. There is nothing to be gained from Holocaust denial. There's nothing to be gained from ISIS beheading videos posted all over social media. There's nothing to be gained from child pornography being spread. Those things should be fucking destroyed. But Mike, lies have value for the truth. No, they don't. Who's, who are you to decide? I guess you should say, I think we should decide as a collective. All right, let's keep watching Nancy Pelosi get on. Are you watching the stream unsubbed? You're making income inequality worse. You are doing anti-praxis. We are the only Twitch stream that will not accept scam advertisers, and I will never fuck you over by selling you crap.